was received uh, uh, last week. Uh, the question is, if a vow is broken, how can how or what uh, can one do for prior chit? Again, first of all, you have to find it is because of your laziness you broke the vow, or it is because of the circumstances that that you are going through it. You are breaking the vow. Means, are you knowingly breaking the vows? or because okay you think no i really took this vow but uh it is very very difficult for you to practice it and you are breaking it okay in other words you had like one incidence that occur uh, like in the story we what we talk that a uh, person was sick and he needed to drink water and since uh, it was night he took the vow that he will not drink it and he he needed to drink the water because of the physical health situation that broken vow it is not even considered broken vow even physically you can see that no he broke the vow all right that that kind of the brokerage is one thing but no, I decided I'm going to do fasting today. And afternoon, I got really hungry. Okay. And I said, now I am not going to do the fasting. Uh, again, I'm not capable of doing it. Then I would rather eat whatever minimum to bring me uh, you no know, kind of a uh, state of mind properly instead of just worrying and no if you take a vow and if you cannot fulfill your normal activities okay and you are kind of a jointly thinking all the time of that one until that day is over or whatever the time period you took the vow though it is over that is a different story okay in that story I would, this is my personal opinion. I'm not saying that this is right opinion or not opinion, okay? I would rather say whatever is the minimum so that important thing is how my mind works, how my mind function. Is my mind is in a meditative state or I am uh, no kind of a worrying and suffering myself for the remaining time period, okay? To me, if I have to suffer it for the whatever the remaining time period of the vow, that, then that vow, I haven't you know, taken any spiritual advantage. Only that vow is like a physical things just happen. That one has a very little value or no value, and we will discuss it in the Dravyan Yoga. Okay? okay why certain things people are kind of a get hyped hyped in a sense when they see everybody else is taking the vow and i'm not taking it okay they feel kind of a uh, low and they take the vow because everybody else is doing it okay and it is like society uh, pressure indirectly uh, there are several examples i can even coach you okay uh, I think once in Chicago Jain Center, the youth said, okay, why are you doing this giboli? It looks like oh, you are selling oh, all these religious things, okay? Why not you do, okay, make your you know, price fixed, okay, for like a Mahavir Jayanti time, okay? for all these chaut sapla, saying that, no, you just now make it that okay, this sapla 500 or you know, 1000, whatever the number you decide, and let people, people, you know, take it from there instead of making a big issue out of it and big ego show over that. But these are the youths tell the Chicago Jain Center. And they did for that particular one year 
even not all 14 were taken. Okay, the price was very reasonable. All right, there are three or four one they kept it for uh, Giboli, like Lakshmi and all other things, uh, point of view. But which one nobody wanted to give even 500 rupees, dollars, okay? When they auction it, they, they got like three times more money in the auction. Why people, those who wanted to do it, they could not do it you know, on internet and say, okay, I want this one and I want that one. They don't see, people will know what they are doing, okay? So it is a exploitation in one way, but sometimes it is needed in the society because you need money and funding to run the society. This is the most effective way of collecting the funding. So these are the kind of the you know, situation and balance you know, what you have to look into it and do it. So unless until spiritually you, you improve yourself, okay, you will not be able to uh, become a uh, practice properly the religions you will see where can I get the maximum benefit. And that's why like one of the scholars you now that came to Raleigh even, okay, you now he said, oh, if you do Chauvier Chat and Seven Jatra on a third life, you get the moksha. Now, when you look into that, when if you are doing this, this ritual, because you're going, going to get in third, life, the moksha, that is not a true religion, okay? You should do that one for the right things to do, that you can practice and uplift your spirituality, okay, by doing that way. But now by hook and crook, I'm going to do it, so that's why or I'm, I'm, I'm going to have, have it, all these things done. All that things you have to understand, why am I doing, is that purpose is served, that comes in Dravyan Yoga, okay? If the purpose is not served, then those vows you have taken has no value in reality, has nothing, is not going to do any benefit. The karmas don't know you are hungry today. Karma doesn't know at all, okay? Karma don't care whether you have taken the vow or not. Karma only cares how you feel, how you are behaving internally. Are you in dhyan or meditation? Means is your vibration, soul vibration is calm down. If your vibration, mental vibration, ichha nirodh, is your desire reduced? In the life, if you are desired, that is the top. The definition of top, very clear, Bhagwan Mahavira said, Ichha Nirodh is top. Is that thing, are you becoming less desired for food when you do the fasting? Then fasting is religion. But if next day in the Parana day, if you are going to eat more and make it up what you haven't ate it on the first day, then no, you haven't accomplished anything. That is the reason, say, first, why are you doing this thing? What is the end result you want to accomplish? And then see whether you are able to accomplish that end result, okay? not because I decided to take it for 24 hours something and I am being so miserable and continue to that one, I am not helping anything. I would rather sit down, calm quietly, you know, repent for it, but at least whatever is needed to, to take care of it, you take care of it so that I can go back into my steady state state in the mind, okay? else.